Hey guys, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a massive book haul. This is like three months worth of books that I'm going to be showing you guys. I haven't posted a book haul since the very beginning of this year. So these are basically all of the books I have bought since the very beginning of 2024. So we're just going to go through all of them. I have some special editions. I have some subscription books. I have just a very large array of things to show you guys. We also are trying out a new setup. Let me know how we feel about this background. I know it's like pretty similar to what I usually do, but let me know if we like it better or worse. Just keep me in the loop of how we feel. But with all that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. Check out all my socials down below, including my Goodreads and my Amazon book wish list. And let's get into this massive book haul. Grab a snack because we're going to be here for a while. Okay, I really don't know where to start. So I think I'm going to start with the ones from my subscription boxes. So I am subscribed to three subscription boxes but one of them I haven't even gotten like my first order in yet I just got on their subscription box a few weeks ago so we're going to be showing fairy loot and probably smut these are the last three months worth of subscriptions so that's what we're going to start with all right I don't remember which order these go in but we are going to be starting with probably smut so i got icebound by meredith trap this is the balance players book one and then it also came with the annotation guide and all of that stuff like they usually do and it is signed by the author the only thing i know about this is it is a hockey player romance i haven't heard anything about it yet i do plan on reading it sometime soon but the cover is absolutely stunning Next, we have Damaged Goods by LJ Shen. This one also has all of the annotations and things like that in it and is digitally signed by the author. This, I believe, is a dark romance, if I'm not mistaken. Super cute cover. And then the final one from Probably Smut's subscription box is Dark City Omega by Elizabeth Stevens. This is from The Beast of Gatamora. And then I have all of my stuff in there. And this one is also digitally signed and it has dark edges. They had some issues when it came to printing this one. So I don't know if they will ever do like dark edges again. But it is stunning in this one. I've heard some really good things about it. It's a dark romance as well. Alright, now I have three books from Fairy Loot. I have the YA fantasy book subscription with Fairy Loot. And I'm hoping to eventually get on the adult and YA mix box. And then I love using Fairy Loot to get their um, like other special editions. The ones that aren't part of their subscription. There is a lot of controversy around Fairy Loot right now when it comes to their Throne of Glass exclusive editions. I'm not exactly sure where they're going to go with that. And I don't honestly exactly know how I feel about it either. So I'm just going to kind of keep my opinion to myself, but to each their own. If you have a very strong opinion about it, understood, respected, completely understand. But these are the books I have gotten from Fairy Loot recently. First, we have A Fragile Enchantment by Allison Shaft, or Saft, sorry. This is a beautiful version of this book. Like, it's absolutely stunning. It came with some artwork, and then we have some fun cute little end papers on both sides and then it is a reversible dust jacket if you can see here and then the actual hardback itself is absolutely stunning so i am obsessed with this edition i think it's absolutely beautiful i love this braid edges so 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 much this one i if I remember correctly, kind of gives like Powerless by Lauren Roberts vibes a little bit. So I am super excited to read this one eventually. It's literally beautiful. Next, we have The Crimson Moth by Kristen. I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but it is once again absolutely beautiful. The edges are insane. We have some really fun and pretty end papers in here. They look like they're the same. This one also has a reversible dust jacket 
and then the actual hardback itself is once again absolutely stunning fairy loot really does know what they're doing when it comes to their like hardbacks without the dust jacket on like they just they're always so beautiful that's actually so stunning lastly from fairy loot i have a tempest of tea this is by hafsha I don't know how to say that. I hate butchering words or names. But this is literally stunning. This might be one of my top faves of the ones I've gotten from them. We have some beautiful end papers. Beautiful hardback. This one is not a reversible dust jacket. It's just the one side. And then we have more end papers in here so these are all absolutely stunning fairy loot really does know what they're doing when it comes to like special edition books and their sprayed edges are literally beautiful they look so good together on my shelves as well so i am pretty obsessed with my fairy loot books i love having subscription boxes they're so exciting to find out what you're going to be getting that month so i do thoroughly enjoy my subscription boxes i did pre-order the owl crate version of ruthless vows and this came in a couple of weeks ago it's maybe a month ago the sprayed edges are literally stunning and the book itself is once again absolutely stunning i love these end papers they're beautiful it is a reversible dust jacket and then the book itself is beautiful i do not have the divine rivals version of this book however i still wanted this one because i think it's just literally stunning and then it does have like a special letter thing on the inside um i am not an owl crate subscriber they just are very nice about allowing like general sale or you sign up for the pre-order sale or whatever i think but i love this version so much and it's literally stunning okay everything else we have are like new release pre-orders and or things i have just picked up recently or within the last few months honestly i feel like i haven't done too too bad with my book shopping a lot of this stuff is pre-orders or series so let's just hop right in first we have butcher and blackbird by Bryn weaver i actually just finished this recently and i gave it two and a half stars i listened to the audiobook so i did give it a try and i thoroughly did not enjoy this um it was just too much smut for me personally i enjoy a good few smut scenes here and there but this was just too much for me and i just think i have really realized i'm not a dark romance girly so this just is not for me but to each their own i actually do have the second one pre-ordered already i believe so I will probably try to read that and if I'm not liking them, I can just sell them or give them to a friend. Next, we have the brand new edition of Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I plan on rereading it super, super soon. But Bloom Books ended up actually picking up this book series by Megan Brandy and so they came out with new covers and since I love the book so much, I ended up deciding to get the new cover and i also have the old cover but the second book in this series comes out so 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 soon this is a college football romance found family um it's honestly very like character study-esque and it is free on kindle unlimited so i highly 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 recommend reading this it's so good one of my favorite books of all time the next one i actually have two copies of so i got lonely for you only by monica murphy this is an arc version i believe yes this is my arc version from her publishing house and then this is the version that i actually purchased myself and i purchased it because i was able to get it signed and personalized so it actually has a taylor swift quote in it and it says i'm doing good i'm on some new shit and then she said tori enjoy xo monica murphy so i love that so much i really truly love the players series by monica murphy so when i found out that she was doing some signed editions of this book i had to have it because i just I love Monica Murphy. So I have two versions of that because I had the ARC and then I also pre-ordered it so it would be signed. Next we have a pre-order and that is Some Kind of Perfect by Krista and Becca Ritchie. So they redid all of the covers for this series because they were picked up by a publisher 
and so they redid all the covers so i had the whole series pre-ordered so this is the new cover i'm currently on hot house flower i think for this series so i will get to this eventually probably not anytime soon but one day we will finish the series i have two copies of the next book as well because they are special like exclusive edition versions and that is crescent city house of flame and shadow this came out early this year and i bought two versions so i have the barnes and noble exclusive and then also the walmart exclusive i wanted both because of the specific bonus chapter content that is in these two versions this book is absolutely stunning i am currently on the final book in the throne of glass series so i do plan on starting crescent city series sometime soon so i got both versions of this book i think there's like five or six exclusives total but these were the two that i wanted the most so i have two versions and honestly these are so insanely heavy it's not even funny next we have a bunch more pre-orders so i pre-ordered keeping 13 by chloe walsh and this is the beautiful first edition spines um i have all these pre-ordered because i wanted the like gradient spines so we have keeping 13 saving six and this one also has the beautiful spine and lastly as for now is redeeming six i actually just finished this recently and i literally loved it i cannot wait for taming seven to come out if you don't know anything about me the boys of tom and series is a top 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 favorite series for me literally right before i started filming this i was able to snag the eternal embers x larry reads special editions of keeping 13 and binding 13 i really didn't think i was going to be able to get them because their website was being really really weird but i ended up snagging them and i'm so excited for her to continue doing the rest of the series and to get my grimy little hands on those but i love the series with my whole entire heart five freaking stars i highly 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 recommend reading boys of tommen but please check trigger warnings before you do because it is super deep and emotional the series is about high schoolers and just their day-to-day -day lives it's very much a character study but they go through a lot of really rough shit so check trigger warnings because it can definitely be very triggering for some people okay next we have happily never after by lynn painter i don't remember who i was watching recently but i was watching some video and someone read this literally less than 300 pages by the way it's like a tiny little book but someone read this and said it was really 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 good and so i of course snagged it up this is i believe about a girl who is getting married and she hires someone to object the wedding and then she ends up working with the objecting guy it's supposed to be just a super cute little rom-com and it's like less than 300 pages i loved better than the movies by lynn painter and i've wanted to try some of her other books so i felt like this was a good one mine is damaged it came damaged unfortunately and i'm way too lazy to return it so i just kept it but i'm really excited to get into this one then i bought another copy of one of my all-time favorite books and that is happy place by emily henry this is finally the paperback u.s edition i have three versions of this book already so now four just add it to the list but i love this book so 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 much this is such a heart warming and like just heartfelt rom-com i love it so much honestly emily henry seriously knows what she's doing and i cannot wait for funny story to come out i'm so beyond excited to read that book so i love this so much so i have literally like every version you can possibly think of and i cannot wait to reread this very soon next i have part of your world by abby jimenez so i actually read yours truly recently and i loved it i thought it was so 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 good and this is supposed to kind of be like an interconnected book with that one so i decided to pick this up as well um, I literally hear amazing things about Abby Jimenez and I, like I said, loved yours truly. I think I gave it four and a half stars. So I'm really hoping I enjoy more of her writing as well. And I felt like this was a good place to start since I loved yours truly and they're like intertwined somehow. I think she has another like three books that are intertwined with each other as well. So I'm not 100% sure how that works for her, but I am excited to get into this one eventually. This next one was honestly 
kind of hard to find. I did quite a bit of research trying to figure out if I could buy all of the series in this beautiful like editions. I unfortunately could only find the first one but that is Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. Like I said earlier this is part of the Boys of Tommen series. I love this book so much. This is the first one in that series and they did these like special edition covers about a year ago I think and I hadn't finished the series at that time so I ended up not buying these versions yet but now that I'm absolutely obsessed and in love I want every single version of these books I can possibly find but I could literally only find the first one anywhere. This I got on Amazon for super cheap. Um, I checked like Pango Books and Mercari for the other ones and they were either not on there or very expensive. So I'm gonna keep looking, but I did snag this on Amazon. This next one I planned on like not buying anytime soon, but since they just redid all of the covers in the first part of the series I decided to grab this before they redid this book so that is the bad reputation duet by Krista and Becca Ritchie like I said earlier they redid all of the covers for the Addicted Calloway Sisters series and I really do enjoy this version of this book and I'm going to assume that this will be traditionally published sometime soon so that's like interconnected with Addicted Calloway but I wanted to have the indie version before they redo the cover so I ended up picking this up it's going to be quite some time before I get into this but I still wanted to have it anyways. This is based on characters that are mentioned in the Addicted Calloway Sister series so it's kind of like a little spin-off and then I know there's the other spin-off series which is the like us series which is about like all of their kids and stuff so the Addicted Calloway series is literally just never ending I swear. Okay all of the next ones I'm going to be talking about are like my prized possessions like I would die for these characters in these books. So, I bought these next two together in one little trip, and that is the third and fourth book in the Magnolia Parks series. I actually have read these and fully annotated them. They go with my hoodie, the full box set. I'm a Magnolia Parks girly. I literally love the series with my whole entire heart. So, I picked up these two in one trip, and then I had the fifth book which is the most recent book in the series pre-ordered so of course I pre-ordered the new cover edition this is Into the Dark this is the final book in the Magnolia Park series that is in BJ and Magnolia's point of views and this has the beautiful like gold spine I literally love the series with my whole entire heart and of course when I love something I can't just like it or enjoy it I hyper fixate and make it my whole personality trait so I have the OG cover edition of this series as well so I had to pre-order into the dark in the brand new covers so this is stunning I love it I cannot wait to read this one I plan on reading it very 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 soon so keep on the lookout for a reading vlog that this book will be in but I literally just love the series and I'm not ready for the absolute detrimental pain that is going to be inflicted once I read this book and I finish it because I will have to wait like everybody else to get anything more from these characters and like I did say this is the last book in Magnolia and BJ's point of views and I don't know how I feel about that I think it's gonna hurt me physically. These last two are probably going to put me on everybody's Rob list. They were extremely hard to find and I have been searching for a decent priced version of these books for literally ever. I have done research on eBay, Amazon, Mercari, Pango books, like literally anything you can think about. So finally on Amazon I found these on a decent price that I was willing to pay and it was like the final ones that they really had everywhere else was selling them for like $150 a piece so I snagged them for a price I was willing to pay so we first have the OG out of print version of A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. It's definitely a little bit banged up but it's not in terrible condition at all. I think I paid like 40 for this which really is not bad because like I said everywhere else was like $150 for this one book. Then I also was able to snag A Court of Wings and Ruin. This is the OG out of print cover. This was supposed to be in paperback but it came in hardback but I can't imagine that I will be able to find 
these anywhere else this one was a little more pricey she was like 65 dollars but i just needed to have them because i literally have like four other versions of this series so i decided to pick these two up and then actually the first one in the same version of these covers is supposed to be delivered today so finally i have these please don't rob me because these were so hard to find and get my hands on and i love them so much all right guys that is the 28 new books i have gotten in the last three months or so i'm probably missing a few here and there but these are the main ones that i had pre-ordered or bought recently that i'm just so excited to get into and or our special collector editions of these books books are my heart and soul and i'm trying really hard to rather than buying a large amount of books to buy more special collector versions of books so i have so many more books that i have pre-ordered that should be here in the next few months so we can do another little collective book haul together but with all that being said i hope you enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face check out all my socials down below including my goodreads and my amazon book wish list i love you all to the moon and saturn i hope you're having an amazing wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye guys